Well, hi guys, this is Dr. Bailey. I'm a board certified orthodontist, as well as the co-founder of TrayMinder, a clear aligner tracking app. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you some of the things that I look for when I'm trying to decide whether a patient is better treated with clear aligners or with braces. There are pros and cons to each of the methods used. Braces and clear aligners are just tools that orthodontists use in order to help treat the patient, get them that nice alignment and that ideal bite. Um, there's nothing special about braces or and there's nothing special about clear aligners. Again, they're just tools. And as an orthodontist, I know the pros and cons of each of the tools. Um, just like a golfer would know the difference between, you know, a seven iron and a nine iron or a putter. So depending on the situation, you'll pick up the right uh, golf club so that you can better get to your goal. The first finding that would lead me to choose clear aligners over braces is short roots. What does it mean when you have short roots? Basically a tooth has a part that you can see that's called a crown and a part that you cannot see which is buried under the bone that's called a root. So it's kind of, your tooth is like a tree. It's the, there's the part that sticks up above the ground and then the root system below the ground. Short roots basically just means that the part of the tooth that is below the bone level is short. Ideally, teeth should have long roots. It's akin to having a tree. Um, the longer the root structure, the more sturdy it's going to be when there are hurricanes and high winds and, and such. And so the only way that you would know that you have short roots is if your orthodontist takes x-rays. Usually an orthodontist will take a panoramic x-ray, which is an overview of all of the teeth in your mouth. And it allows, the panoramic x-ray allows the orthodontist to see if you have wisdom teeth that are in impacted, it allows your orthodontist to know whether you have any missing teeth, etc, etc. Um, but probably the best way to evaluate root length is via PAs, periapicals, that the dentist, the general dentist usually take. I like to treat orthodontic patients with short roots with clear aligners because I have more control over the treatment. So if you have short roots on your two front teeth and they are more or less in line already, I can ask the software program to not move your teeth and focus instead on the other teeth that need more orthodontic movement. By decreasing the amount of movement or forces on those shorter roots, it decreases the possibility of them getting shorter. So that is a definite advantage of clear aligner therapy because of the control that I can have. With braces, all of the teeth are chained together. And so when you are moving a tooth on the side here, it can affect the teeth that are adjacent to it or a few teeth adjacent to it because they're all tied together because one, you know, like Newton's third law says, every force has an equal and opposite force. So that is why if I see short roots, I tend to lean more towards clear aligner therapy uh, than braces. Another finding that would lead me to choose clear aligner therapy over braces is if patients have spacing. Now, when you have spaces between your teeth, it, when you close the teeth together, sometimes the gum, the gum between them can budge. So imagine that you have two teeth here and this is the gum tissue. As you bring two teeth together, there's bunching of the gum tissue between the teeth and combine that with gingivitis if, if the gums swell because of plaque that is left on the teeth, then it makes the process of closing spaces or closing gaps all the harder. So in general, patients' uh, gingival health or, or gum health is better with clear aligners because patients in clear aligners can remove their aligners to allow them to floss and brush much easier uh, than braces patients. Braces patients have wires and braces that they can't remove. So the process of cleaning and flossing is a lot more tedious. So in general already, clear aligner patients have better oral hygiene in general uh, because of the ease of cleaning and combine that with uh, spacing. It's 
clear aligners it's just easier to close spaces in in my experience open by is another orthodontic finding that would lead me to choose clear aligners over braces. Open bite just basically means that when you bite down, your front teeth don't overlap. They should, you know, normally in an overbite, you should have about a 15% overbite where your top incisors, they fit over your bottom incisors, much like a lid over a box. So people with open bites, when they close down, their teeth, they don't overlap. And so it's very difficult for them to bite into a sandwich with their front teeth because of that lack of uh, overbite. Uh, clear aligners are really, really great at treating open bites because there's two layers of aligners that are in the back. And so when you bite down, you are basically intruding or pushing those back molars away from each other so that when you remove your clear aligners, the teeth can come together more. And that is, a, you know, deep bites, which is the opposite problem is usually a, a more difficult to treat with clear aligners than braces because of the opposite effect. I would also choose clear aligners over braces if a patient has nickel allergy. Nickel allergy, uh, braces usually have some nickel content. How do you know if you have nickel allergy? Um, that is if you wear uh, earrings or belt buckle. If it's touching your skin and you get a red spot, the chances are you may have a nickel allergy. Because orthodontic wires and brackets have some nickel in them, it's better to treat uh, patients with nickel allergies with clear aligners instead because I know that there's no nickel content in the clear aligners. Finally, if you have a good bite but you have some crowding or spacing issues on your front teeth, I would probably choose clear aligners over braces. The reason again is because with clear aligner therapy, I have more control over which teeth I want to move and which teeth I do not want to move. And if your teeth are already in good position, then I really don't want to move them. I want to concentrate my efforts on moving those front teeth where they are crowded or there are where they are spaced, and thereby this will decrease the amount of time that you are in treatment. With braces and wires, as I had alluded to earlier, uh, there are, all your teeth are tied together by a wire. And so it is really impossible to move some teeth without affecting other teeth. Now, of course, we can get creative with fixed orthodontics. We can do sectional wires or we can uh, bond as ideally as possible using technologies as, such as a sure smile. But I won't get into those details, but generally in most cases, it's easier to treatment plan with clear aligner therapy because you can actually tell the software to not move certain teeth and only move other teeth. So in those cases, I do prefer clear aligner therapy over braces. In general, if you have a nice class one occlusion, you have misalignment on your front teeth, and you'll probably finish your clear aligner therapy faster than if you were to choose braces with all things you know being equal if you're wearing your aligners and 22 hours a day and things like that of course if there are these are just generalizations there they won't work in every case and there are exceptions for every case so i'm sure that there's going to be an orthodontist out there or a patient that will say well this is not right I, these are just generalizations that i follow i examine every patient uh, clinically in person i review their panoramic x-ray i review their medical history there are a lot of nuances these are not absolute things and I love treating patients with braces as well. Um, it's just really, again, the clear aligners, braces, there are tools that you can use at your disposal. And after you collect the, the findings, the orthodontic findings from medical history to dental history, uh, to looking at the malocclusion and the alignment issues, then with all of that, I will make a determination as far as 
which one I prefer. Sometimes I don't have a preference in terms of which tool I like to use better, so I will let the patient choose because it is a very personalized sort of journey that you're going through and so I let my patients decide and sometimes I will say braces will be faster and more efficient but the patient will say no way I will not wear braces I'd rather be in clear aligner therapy for a few months longer um, it doesn't matter so hopefully you found this video to be a little bit eye-opening in terms of what your orthodontist may be thinking about and if you like this video give it a thumbs up Subscribe to the Treminder channel. This is Dr. Bailey. I'll see you next time. Bye.